I'm Dawn Del Russo. I am an on-air fashion expert, the owner of Belladon.com, and this is it. Hello, Dawn. Hello. How are you? So good. Thanks. So happy to be here. I know, I know. Thank you for joining me on This Is It. I'm so excited now. I know you have a ton of stuff going on and I want to hear everything. <laughs> Belladawn.com. Yes, that's Tell how me. it all started. Yeah? That was um, originally my store boutique okay. in oh, New Jersey. Yes, wow. I had it for almost eight years. <gasps> and I loved it. It was my dream come true. I started it when I was 24. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it oh was like gosh. always what I wanted. I used to scribble down in notebooks and say like, this is my dream. I want to have a boutique. I want to ha have it look like a bedroom and sell different, you know, handbags and shoes and all that kind of stuff, which I did. Yeah. So it was wonderful. And then it evolved and I started to, um, I actually was lucky enough to have a TV producer from Fox yeah. reach out about a product that I was selling. Oh, wow. And um, that triggered my whole on-air career. Yes. I was addicted after yes. that. <laughs> Isn't it not fabulous? It we is love. So fabulous, and you know, it, if you're the type of person that likes to talk and yes. is friendly and outgoing, it's what I was. You know, the camera's on, and I'm like, let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. And now you're sharing products, you know, yes. what I mean? products with, and services within beauty and fashion. Yes, exactly. And what it, what was great is that I knew what it took yeah. to have to try to get product out there. Yeah. I I had brands that I was working with, and my biggest thing even now is trying to find the smaller ones that. Yeah. Are just trying to make it and you know they want to get on TV they want to get their product known and they're fantastic brands but they really just don't know how to do that they don't. I want to be the source <gasps> and I want to be the one that they can come to and say listen I have this really awesome yeah. you know handbag line and it I put all my heart and soul into it how can I get it out there and if I can be the person that can you know be the middleman to get it on TV and yeah. promote it that's what I want to do and I think that that's it it's about yeah. sharing that authentic thing it's about finding something unique something that's not necessarily mainstream or exploited as of yet you exactly. know what I mean? And being the one that finds that hidden gem. Exactly. That's so And I fun. love doing I mean, when I first had my boutique, that's what I did. And yeah. now it was able to like turn into where I could put it on TV and take yeah. the same idea of having this boutique, but then also get it on this national air program Which that they never really had the reach or the ability to do. Right. Yeah. And so basically, is it based on things that you personally like or are you finding things for everybody? It's, it's for everybody. I, I usually start with what that's I like. Fair. That's fair. <laughs> that is fair. Because I feel like I could stand behind that. Yeah. I, I feel like it's, it's more true to yeah. myself than taking a product that I don't even know anything about or I for wouldn't sure. use. For sure. So I'd rather put, do stuff that I know that I'll wear. I mean, whether it's bracelets yeah. or, you know, um, a new hair accessory or yeah. beauty products. Anything yeah. in that fashion and beauty realm is yeah. what I'm comfortable with. And we were, I was talking with a friend a little bit earlier today, and, and we were talking about that, and if the deliverer of the information is the ideal target market, we find that it's far more consistent, the message is far more authentic than it is if you would never, like for instance, if somebody your age would be promoting you know, a menopause product, right. would not make sense. No one would even translate, listen. Right. Yeah, yeah. But being able to find things that make sense, there's most likely people within your target market exactly. that it would also appeal to. Yeah. And I love that. I mean, I yeah. want to be that person. You know, yeah. and then I think having the success that I've had and growing it the way I grew, yeah. I it allows me to help brands outside of just saying like, okay, let's put it on TV, but giving yeah. them advice and saying, okay, this is how you can tweak this or yeah. what someone else might be interested in, in or how it is presented on air in yeah. a certain way. Oh, I love so, this. Yeah. so I'm sure at a certain point you were going out and you were farming out and looking for brands. I'm sure brands are now finding you, yes. right? <laughs> how do you decide what brands make the most sense? Um, I I weed through so yeah. many pitches I'm every sure, day. I'm sure. <laughs> um, and I honestly, I honestly really do try to read all of them because yeah. I do know that even though someone may not be great at writing a pitch or yeah. someone may just you know, have this brand, they don't know how to put it together, but they want to get it in front of me. I do try to somehow read through it, even if it's two o'clock in the morning on my phone. I'm yes. like reading them. Um, I I tend to see what stands out to me. Yeah. You know, that there's certain items, whether if it's a new beauty product yeah. that I know, um, say it's a hair care product, yeah. and I'm like, how do I get my hair to look shiny <laughs> exactly. and bouncy all day long? <laughs> and if someone's like pitching that to me, yeah. it's, I'm gonna read it. Yeah. It's, it's something that really it triggers something in me. Absolutely. Um, 
this ju this bracelet line. I mean, I didn't even know anything oh, about. Is Isn't that? it? So she's a local New Jersey designer. That Stop. got me. Stop. Yeah, it got me. Actually, oh Red Bank. <laughs> really? Yeah. All right, you're gonna have to connect me to her. <laughs> you have to figure that out. But that got me. It was yeah. a local connection. You know, somebody yeah. else in New Jersey. So. As much as, you know, I love anything from all over the country or yes. all over the world, if you say that, listen, I'm in New Jersey, I just started yes. designing this, that, that got me. That speaks you know, to you. Yeah, I, I want, wanted to work with them. So. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Now, since you are on cutting edge of everything, do you see <laughs> some hot trends that are coming out that I should know about? I'm a little older, I'm sure. No, so uh, tell, so tell me, So tell me how I can be hip, because it's, it's, oh, it's a zoo sometimes. I know, you know, it's so... It's always changing, I yeah. feel like, but then at the same time, it's the same. Yeah. You know, I, I want to say for spring, there's these pastel colors, but like, yeah. when is it not pastel for spring? <laughs> <laughs> when is it not floral prints for spring? Right. Uh, I like to, I like to mix and match. I like, yeah. don't be afraid. Like, I'll wear leather in yeah. the spring, and yeah. I think doing things like that. It's, I think right now, it's really about showing your personality. Yeah. And and trends are trends, but how can you be you and yeah. be authentic and find something that's you see in a magazine or yeah. you hear or you see on the runways yeah. and how can I make that myself? Understood. Not just wear it straight off the runway, no. but how can I change it and make it me? Oh, know? I love this. Yeah. So oh I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm into the trends, but. Yeah. <laughs> well, I found a fellow Jersey girl. I am excited, I am excited, I am excited. <laughs> if people want to follow friend and like you, where would they do that? It's all the same. It's at Dawn Del Russo. So it's nice and easy. I'm on Snapchat 24-7, yes. so I love that. If you guys want to see a little bit of personal life. Yeah. Uh, Instagram, I'm constantly over there, you know, yeah. posting pictures of shoes. But, <laughs> and, and that's fair. So we are going to make sure that we follow friend and like her. We suggest you do the same. Thank you so Thank much, you Dawn. So much. Oh my God, you're I stuck with it. me. I know, I can't. I love it. So good. <laughs> we'll see you guys soon.